your primary vote might have been not count as well. This warning is showing up on postcards in local mailboxes. It has some people concerned their vote might not count in the November election. NBC2 chief political reporter Dave Elias is getting us answers tonight. Well, you may want to keep a close eye on your mailbox and be on the lookout for a little postcard like this that warns your signature does not match the supervisor of elections records. And even more concerning, your vote by mail might not count. I was angry. I, I didn't understand it. Melinda Isley is talking about this brightly colored postcard. The top line is, you know, your petition for abortion rights was rejected and your primary vote might have been not count as well. She had filled out this petition supporting an amendment to protect abortion rights in Florida, but apparently her signature didn't match what was on file. Going forward, is my signature going to be counted for, you know, the main election in November? That's the most important. I've learned that more than 30,000 signatures were collected in Lee County alone and just over 2,500 were rejected. All the petitions that were signed in Lee County come through us, and we have staff members looking at those, and they do some, some do get rejected because they do not substantially match the signature that's on our file. Lee County Election Supervisor Tommy Doyle stresses, despite what the postcard says, it doesn't mean that your vote by mail will be rejected. Because it's, it's a different process, the only person, the only people that can reject your vote by mail signature is the canvassing board. He says in the August primary, only 200 mail ballots were flagged for signatures not matching. They are notified by our staff. They'll get a letter, a text message, or a phone call saying your signature didn't match and this is how you can cure it. Turns out only about 100 voters didn't fix the problem, and voters are urged to track their mail ballots online. In Lee County, Dave Elias, NBC2.